Good morning, YouTube. It's Gatlin here from Carphonics on a lovely Thursday morning. Yesterday was a beautiful day, and uh, let me tell you guys, I ended up enjoying a little cruise -a in uh, my 300 yesterday, which was really, really, really nice. Let me tell you about that. And uh, I parked my truck inside here, as you can see. And uh, sorry about yesterday's short video, guys. You know, sometimes you just don't feel like making a YouTube video uh, when, you know, it's halfway through the day. But uh, I figured I'd give you guys something yesterday. We did a little update and, uh, you know, did a little bit of work on this uh, F-350 outside or inside here. Uh, look at Damien. Look at Damien. That's Damien's new rig, boys. Uh, 2005 F-350 power joke. Hey, you know what? It's actually not in too bad a shape. Let's go check this thing out. Let's go see what Damien has to say about this bad boy. It's not in too bad a shape. I thought it was a lot worse than it really was. Oh, snap. There it is. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Check this thing out, guys. Got the big push bar on the front. Knocking bitches out of the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that. It's got newer ish tires on it. Interior's in pretty decent shape. Rockers are in good shape. It's got the, uh, it's just like, uh, it's just like uh, Big Dirty. Uh, it's Little Dirty. It's Little Dirty. <laughs> yeah. This thing has the uh, on the floor 4x4. Four four. Look at that. Wow. How many K are on this thing? Let's check that out. 194,000. Really not too bad. Lots of room in this thing. So this is your new rig, bud? New rig. This is the new rig, eh? Got some coffee on the way home. Fucking suspension so stuff. Oh yeah, this thing's meant for hauling, buddy. If I mean, like the... Is it just me or is like the rear axle sitting further back than it should be? No. Yeah? It's just me? Look at this thing, guys. Yeah. It's actually in pretty good shape. I mean, it needs, uh, needs a bed liner. But other than that... Not too bad. So what you planning to haul with this thing? Yo mom. Yo mama. <laughs> yo, he's gonna haul yo mama with this truck. You better watch out, boys. He's gonna haul yo mama away with this thing. <laughs> you better watch the fuck out. <laughs> Shit. In that back, that yeah. Yeah, this thing's alright, eh? Let's check it under the hood. It's in pretty good neck. It's in pretty good neck, it is. Turbo PSI. Check this out. No PSIs. No PSIs. I don't know what's going on there. You can hear the fucking thing, that's for sure. Gonna one handed this. Yeah, right on. Dual battery setup. Just like uh, Big Dirty used to have a, a golf ball hole inside the uh, dash there. I don't know why. That's where the uh, shifter pedal's supposed to go. Yeah. Nice. Right on. Right on. Yeah, it's in pretty good shape, guys. Even the hood light works. Check that out. It's a rare beast. The hood goes up on its own. Right on. Nice truck. Freaking right. Yeah, interior's in good shape. You, Chris, same. We the same. You, Chris, same. It's got the rubber floors that we're going to be putting in Big Dirty in. Factory radio, CD player, cruise control. Yeah, the, the truck's actually in really good shape. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually in really good shape. You guys take care of a little bit of this stuff, but that's 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 all minor, right? Not a huge deal, not a big deal. Right on, freaking right. How's she? Uh, how's she ride? Like a bouse? Stiff though, eh? Yeah. I like it though. I mean, this is like Chris's dream truck, right? Like this is what Chris would have wanted, like crew cab, long box, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's in good shape. Really good shape, surprisingly. Yeah. Okay, well, he proved me wrong, boys. I was worried about him. I was worried for him big time. But it's, uh, it's a pretty nice truck. Gotta love that smell of diesel in the morning, eh? Gotta love the smell of diesel in the morning. So, anywho, this morning we got uh, some stuff going on with a 
uh, I believe a 2002 Jaguar X-Type. And uh, yeah, that thing's really nice. It's very, very surprising, my friend. For a Ford truck, it is very, very good. Very, 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 very nice truck. Check that out. It's a big truck, though, hey? Wow. Anyhow, makes my truck look really teeny. Makes my truck look really small. I got a LED bar from Oedro. I'm not sure well, how to pronounce that. Maybe you guys can help me with that. Oedro. Oedro? Oedro? I have no idea. Anyhow, these guys sent me a light bar to uh, do a little review on, which I'm going to do, but I'm not going to install it on my own truck. I'm actually going to install it on my dad's Lexus. Uh, this thing, I don't really want to install an LED bar on it. That's not really my thing. Um, my dad drives some back roads and that kind of thing, so I figured, you know what? Papa Sandu, he's going to get the light bar on his brand new Lexus instead. First impressions. First impressions. Not so good. Not so good there, boys. But that's for another video. So uh, we're going to go ahead and pull out my truck and uh, get my day started. So I'll see you soon. Add and park my truck next to Damien's new truck. Let's check this thing out. Back around, back around, back and back, 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 back around. Check out this bad boy, guys. <sighs> Easy. Easy. <sighs> All right. Got her semi unboxed here. Check out how this thing looks. Sticker right uh, there on his bumper. Yeah, looks all right. What do you think about that, buddy? Yeah. Why, why wouldn't we? Yeah, why the fuck wouldn't we? That looks great. That's gonna look awesome on your truck. On my truck, not so much. Your truck, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Big burly ass fucking truck. Man, this thing's in really good shape. God, that's gonna look awesome. All right, so that's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna install this LED bar on uh, Damien's truck, on his new one, on his new one, right on. Chris is gonna be so jealous. Other than the power stroke, right? I mean, he'd probably like, want to stick his motor, <laughs> motor engine into this thing, but uh, yeah, that LED bar is gonna look awesome. Aha! <laughs> so here's our Jaguar X-Type. Car is actually in really good shape for the year. It's 2002. And uh, we're going to go ahead and install a uh, Kenwood navigation unit, backup camera, retain his steering wheel controls, and uh, replace all of his door speakers. So we're going to go ahead and remove the heads unit and uh, start from there. Rule of thumb, when you're working on anyone's car, even your own, disconnect the battery, guys. It's a simple process and saves you a lot of headaches. All right, so we got the uh, radio mounted into the dash kit here, as you can see. Nice trim, clean look there. And uh, moving along here under the uh, back lip of the vehicle, we have got the backup camera, which is a, just a nice uh, lip mount camera there, as you can see, really, really nice. And then it's been ran through the uh, factory wiring area and then through the factory grommet. And now Damien is working on running it up to the front there. Uh, I have already got our wiring done behind the dash here, which I'll show you now. Fast forwarding here a little bit guys just because it is a busy day our GPS antenna is mounted on the dash and uh, we've got all of our uh, radio harnessing and uh, Bluetooth mic GPS antenna factory antenna here our USBs which we've uh, wrapped up in some uh, Tech flex and heat shrink and Damien is working along there. We gotta grab our uh, reverse trigger from that side as well. And uh, then we'll start getting things into the hole and uh, get some speakers in there. 
All right, so we got uh, the dash all back together here. Everything's looking copacetic and nice. Let's throw it in reverse there. Get our reverse camera, which is there. Get our USBs nicely here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the dash back together. Dash is all back together. Things are looking really nice. And uh, we're moving on to the speakers. But uh, check out the install on this camera, guys. These new lip mount cameras from EcoMaster are awesome. They're really, really, really nice looking camera. Standing up, can't even see the darn thing. All right, guys, so we're installing these uh, Kenwood KFC 174s. Exelon speakers there, two year warranty on those bad boys. And uh, they come with speaker adapters, which will adapt to the factory side. And then uh, the speaker plug, which we've adapted inside there. And this will bolt into the factory locations. So I'll go ahead and get all four speakers done and give you a little demo. <laughs> All right, so this thing sounds really good, actually. Uh, it has uh, factory uh, speaker adapters and plugs on the doors, and everything looks really good and sounds really good. Uh, so we got our GPS navigation here. This is a Kenwood DNX 693. Uh, the home button's gonna be your best friend. Brings you back through the navigation, mirroring, HD radio. It's also got Apple CarPlay, so if we plug in our USB into our iPhone iPod port right here, which we'll go ahead and do now, jab that baby in there and then we can go ahead and plug in my phone just like a day out and the Apple CarPlay uh, icon shows up there on the screen and I will allow yes and if you go to music same idea if you have an iPhone it's the same idea if uh, you're on your phone home button here brings it back to home music messages telephone maps uh, if you have Spotify, you can just scroll over here and Spotify will show up. Press uh, the music button there and, uh, you know, get a little bit of tunage going on here. Yeah, so the thing sounds really good. Back to the home button there. If we got our HD radio, our uh, standard radio station here. All right, and then uh, if we want to use our streaming controls, we can do the volume up and down here. And then the uh, steering wheel controls down here. And we have our source selector, which is on the steering wheel as well. And we also have our backup camera. So if we just put this in reverse, like so, get a nice clear image of what's going on behind us. So anyhow, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys subscribing and liking the videos. And uh, hopefully you guys learned a thing or two about a thing or two today. And uh, yeah, so if you don't mind, if you could just stab that uh, subscribe button if you're watching, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, until next one, have a great day, guys. Carphonics signing out. Oh, and if I don't see you, good morning, good evening, and good night.